So the next thing we got to do is uh, put a new set of SNES cylinder studs in our case. Someone had been at the other one with vice grips and tore them all up and uh, that would just weaken these hardened studs and you, you can't put vice grips on them to do it. So there's uh, some of the other ones and you can see from all these shiny spots on them. I know you can't see them there but there's grooves cut in them from the vice grips grabbing onto these and uh, we don't want to use those, that's for sure. So we're going to install them in the head. Uh, just as a point of note, right from 85 to 94, if you look in your manual, you'll see this stud has a shoulder on it and this end doesn't. And in the manual, it will tell you to put that in the engine case like that. Uh, there is a chance of your head bolt going down and bottoming out on this, even when you're trying to torque it, if the lengths are not correct. Um, in 95, they changed them, same studs, same cylinder studs and they changed them so now put the this shoulder piece goes down against the case that eliminates any question of tightening this down and hitting that shoulder as you're torquing right which has happened in the past you could tighten that down like that think that you have it torqued down in there uh, but you're actually bottoming it out on the shoulder piece so even though the earlier manual say do it this way with the shoulder up to the top um, after 94, after 95 in the manuals, they will tell you to put it this way. And it was an upgrade that Harley did. So it's a good thing to keep in mind if you're changing your cylinder studs. Very important. Next thing is when you're going to change your studs and you put them into the case, is how do you tighten them in? You put a couple nuts on them and try to reef on them. Uh, there's a chance of bending the studs and we don't want that to happen. So what you need is a little ball bearing. Just a small little ball bearing like this. And what that is, it's actually 8860 part number from Harley Davidson's for a Sportster uh, clutch mechanism. Uh, so if you have no Sportster clutch mechanism around the shop or somebody has one, uh, that, that little ball bearing will do fine. And you just drop that in like that, put your stud in, and you can tighten that down. And that will enable us to then torque this down into the case just at 10 pounds, not at 30 or 40 pounds just at 10 pounds. So we're gonna go along and do the first one and uh, show you how it goes. We've covered our motor up, uh, so just in case we take that little ball out, if it falls out, it won't go down inside your motor. And we put a bit of Loctite on the threads and we'll just screw them down in there. And we've got our torque wrench set to 10 pounds. Go. We'll just break that loose lightly. Very carefully take this off the top, and when you get close to the top, uh, just tip it over. And that should do it. Okay, so we're going to go along and do the rest of them and get our studs all installed. And then we can move on to the next step of putting our pistons on and our rings on and starting to assemble the motor and it'll start to build up and look like something very quickly. So now we'll try to put some of our, our pinion gears in here. This is the, the oil pump drive gear and it has a chamfer on one side. This chamfer always faces in towards the flywheels and we have a small key installed there. So it's got to go on that key. Here we go. And just to show that our oil pump We've got some oil in it now, a little bit harder to turn, but it's nice and free there. You want to make sure that that's free. I'm going to slide that on there. There we go. We have a small spacer between the gears. And that goes in there. Next we have a key that goes in here. There we go. Just really tap that in so that we can get our gear on.
make sure that we have some play here. And we do. And then we put our little nut on here, which is left hand thread. A special kind of tool here with a cutout in it. Actually, my wife Pauline made it when she was uh, taking a machinist course there. She made this little tool for me, special for putting these nuts on. In order to lock that, we've got a small Jim's tool here. That will just go in there like that. Okay, and we want to go just to 35 pounds. we go and that's locked in and we still have a little bit of play in our back gear so it is free it has to be free so that boat takes care of putting those gears in here we go we'll also put our little filter here in there and a spring on it and we'll just lightly put this in here but I'm gonna I'm gonna be putting an oil pressure gauge on here so I won't tighten it right up so now we'll slip the breather gear in Six thou there. So we try one a little bigger here. Okay, I can't get a 14 in there. Let's try 12. Just getting a 12 in there. I think we'll go with that. I've got 12 thousandths of an inch space here. Allows six thou for crush, and that leaves me six thou there uh, for that. So that's what we're going to go for for a spacer on there. Now we're going to put our cam in, put the cover on, and go down through the top here and check our clearance on the cam to see what we got there. So we've got to start somewhere. This is our, our plate that goes in behind in there. We've got a small spacer on our cam so that we have a starting point just to see where we're going and we'll just slide the cam in we don't need to time it or anything cam cover on here and we're just going to torque it up to like 9500 pounds there we go I can see that I'm just moving the camshaft back and forth a little bit and what I'm shooting for is like 10 thou clearance in there it's just a nice number that I'm, I'm, I'm quite comfortable with. This is where we're, we're shooting for, in between the end of the cam and this little washer. See, I can just slip that down in there, 15 thousandths of an inch, just in between them. But that's showing you where the space is in there, and that's what we're shooting for, so that we have a small amount of play back and forth in the camshaft. And I can just barely force a 15 in there, and I can't, I can't move the camshaft at all. So that's what we're looking for. We have to make sure that there is play in there. I can also stick my little unit down in here. You can see that we can move this 
it'll breathe the gear back and forth in there. And there doesn't have to be much movement there as long as there's movement so that that's not crushed out. That's what we're looking for. If you uh, follow up with the manufacturer's specs, they say they can be up to 50 thou end play in them. Um, I'd like to get them closer to 10, but 15 is quite acceptable. And I don't have the next step up. Uh, perhaps maybe before the motor's finished, I may, I may order some shims and get one that's 5 thou bigger. Uh, give me 10 thou clearance. Uh, but this is quite acceptable in here, so we're going to go with that. So that type boat takes care of getting things right in our cam chest. We can torque the cam cover down on here so we know how tight it's supposed to be. I don't have a cam seal in the end of my cover yet uh, because I like to do that last and that allows me to move the camshaft back and forth freely uh, without the seal dragging on it or anything and then when I put it on it's one shot and it's on there. So making sure that those clearances are in there is important especially the breather gear as well and uh, this motor will run nice and have a fair amount of play in there and that's what we want. Now we're going to get ready to put the pistons on, put the cylinders on it, the heads, etc, etc. And we also have to put the, uh, the lifter blocks and the lifters in it. But it's coming together and it's going well. So stick with us for the next installment and uh, we'll help you build your Evo motor the right way. So I'm out here just trying to put these things together and pass on a little bit of knowledge that I have. If you find this video, these videos interesting, like, subscribe, ring the bell do those things. They help our channel to grow and uh, as it grows we keep producing more videos. So we'll see you on the next one in this uh, series of this Jet Black Evo motor.